Since the beginning of humanity, humans have been fucking. And since the beginning of the scientific method, humans have been fucking for science. Uh, in the old days, that probably meant some beardy old man using a protractor to measure the exact angle of your dick and then comparing it to the phases of the moon or whatever. But these days, that means fucking in an fMRI scanner. An fMRI scanner is basically a big hole uh, that you push a cylindrical object in and out of repeatedly. But despite that fact, it's actually not a particularly sexy place to fuck. Uh, and yet, humanity perseveres with countless studies involving people getting down and dirty in otherwise cold and clean imaging rooms. The fMRI is used for a lot of brain research. Uh, it's a machine that measures changes in blood flow to the brain, and it can do that without any invasive procedures or injections, and it can show researchers what's happening in the brain in real time. And for that reason, that's why it's so handy for studying what happens when we are actually having sex and when we are orgasming. In a recent study, researchers at Rutgers uh, put 10 heterosexual women into an fMRI while they brought themselves to orgasm. The women, not the researchers, that would be weird. Uh, they then had them uh, brought to orgasm by a partner in a separate set of tests. Uh, the researchers found that contrary to previous research, women's brains don't turn off during orgasm. This is one of those things that can be tricky to learn about just from asking women what happens when they orgasm, as it's so subjective and it's so intense that it might be difficult for women to describe. Previous research using PET scans suggested that when women orgasm, our brains shut out everything except for our sensory regions. As always with a finding like that, people were quick to make up just so evolutionary stories to fit it, like how women in the Pleistocene must have needed to only focus on orgasming, even at the risk of being mauled by a tiger, because they needed to make sure that they could conceive a child. Which, yes, makes no sense on multiple levels, like how female orgasms aren't proven to aid in conception, and also how it is very hard to bring a baby to term and give birth to it after you've been mauled by tigers during conception. This study, though, uh, found that there was actually an increase in blood flow to the areas of the brain responsible for emotions, which peaked at orgasm. The researchers suspect that the difference in their findings may be due to the fact that PET scans used in the previous research are lower resolution and less rigorous than fMRIs. PET scans use radioactive elements injected into the bloodstream in order to follow blood flow to the brain. The only real benefit to using them over an fMRI is that the subject can move around a bit without corrupting the data. In an fMRI, the subject has to stay perfectly still or else the resulting image will be a complete mess. Pretty tough while orgasming. It's worth noting that this and other problems of noise can make fMRIs tricky to use, as proven, <clears throat> proven in the past by a particularly clever researcher who showed interesting brain activity in a dead salmon using fMRI. Uh, feel free to insert your own joke here about the similarities between a dead fish and trying to make your wife orgasm. It's YouTube. I'm sure you have some good ones. Uh, anyway, even more interesting than the increase in emotional response during orgasm is the fact that the researchers learned why women are less likely to feel pain during orgasm, which is something they showed in previous research where they pinched women while they orgasmed. I know, science is a truly magical occupation. Uh, the researchers found that during orgasm, women experienced increased blood flow to the dorsal raphe nucleus area, which is responsible for pumping out serotonin, which is a pain reliever and an all-around happy time hormone. The study authors then take a stab at why this happens, uh, guessing that it might have something to do with making childbirth hurt less. While it's true that some women do orgasm during childbirth, this frankly sounds as dumb and poorly researched as the previous study's authors guessing that women mauled by tigers might give birth. 
Uh, this study is purely exclusively about the how, so don't be fooled by the researchers taking guesses at the why. That is absolutely for future research to determine.